Hi, this is Rob Wilcox. I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration of the Enterprise Vault system status. You get to system status from the Vault admin console by going into directory and then click on status. Here you can see I've got 11 critical issues that system status has discovered for me. Now if you look down some of these issues, most of mine here are related to SQL Server backups. Take this one for example. The directory database backup has not been done for 104 days. The really cool thing about system status is you get things like the event ID, uh, when the system status check was last done, and also you can click on the link here saying how to fix. And it will take you to some online help available on the EV server so it doesn't reach out onto the internet and it gives you some tips on how you can fix the issue at hand. So in this particular case it's because I've not done any SQL Server backups. If I jump over to my SQL Server now I've opened uh, SQL Server Management Studio here as you can see. I'm just going to right click on the Enterprise Vault directory go to Tasks, go to Backup and then after a second or two I'll be able to take away the current backup location, add in this new one, click on OK, and then one of the things I always do is to do the verify, then click on OK. A few seconds later that completes and if we check on disk we can see that the database backup is there. Now if I jump back to my Enterprise Vault server what I can then do is I can right click on the system status node here and choose rerun all checks and that brings up a little dialog box and all the different checks that um, can be performed by system status are rerun and hopefully what we should see in a second or two is that the issue about my directory database backup and my directory database log backup should be fixed. And there you go. You can see already in the background the screen's refreshing and two items are now off the list. I've now just got nine critical issues to fix but I'll save those for another day. I hope you uh, make use of system status in your environment and I hope the short video on how to get to it and what's in there is helpful to you. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.